Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A child is born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah! O come, rejoice, Jerusalem! Alleluia, alleluia! Let grateful hearts now sing a song of joy and holy praise to Christ the newborn King. Though found within a manger poor, alleluia, his kingdom shall for air endure. Alleluia, alleluia! Let grateful hearts now sing a song of joy and holy praise to Christ the newborn King. As brother in the flesh he came, Alleluia, our King whose name we now proclaim, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let graceful hearts now sing a song of joy and holy praise to Christ the newborn King. You have been endowed from your birth with princely gifts in eternal splendor before the dawn of light on earth, I have begotten you. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn, I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the streams by the wayside, therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have been endowed from your birth with princely gifts. In eternal splendor, before the dawn of light on earth, I have begotten you. With the Lord is unfailing love. Great is his power to save. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O oh, let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord, I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak, and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel, indeed, he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With the Lord is unfailing love. Great is his power to save. In the beginning, before time began, the Word was God. Today he is born, the Savior of the world. Let us give thanks to the Lord for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him, everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. We were created through him. All were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him, everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him and, by means of him, 
to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the beginning, before time began, the Word was God. Today He is born, the Savior of the world. A reading from Romans chapter 8. God sent His Son in the likeness of sinful flesh as a sin offering, thereby condemning sin in the flesh, so that just the man's of the law might be fulfilled in us who live, not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. The Word was made man, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word was made man, Alleluia, Alleluia. He lived among us, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Word was made man, Alleluia, Alleluia. Virgin Mary, all that the prophets foretold of Christ has been fulfilled through you. As a virgin you conceived, and after you gave birth, a virgin you remained. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Virgin Mary, all that the prophets foretold of Christ has been fulfilled through you. As a virgin you conceived, and after you gave birth, a virgin you remained. Dear friends, let us humbly pray to God the Father, who so loved us that he sent us his Son. May the favor of your Son be with us. God of love, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you had mercy on those walking in darkness. Receive the prayers we offer for the salvation of all people. Lord, remember your church spread over all the world. Bless your Christian people and give them peace. You are the Father of all people. Graciously grant peace to all. Direct the eyes of all to your Son and pour forth the spirit of peace on those who rule them. You announced peace on earth at the coming of your Son. Give eternal peace to those who have died. And now, let us pray as the Lord told us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you have revealed the mysteries of your word through John the Apostle. By prayer and reflection, may we come to understand the wisdom he taught. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.